I'm Sal Spader from ARC Advisory Group, and I'm the research director for the discrete automation business, primarily focusing on machinery and production systems in discrete manufacturing. Digitalization is a fascinating topic. Right now, we're at the point of uh, where computing systems and, and machinery have all converged to a point where we can even think about uh, taking products and going directly to part manufacturing without inter any intermediate processes. And a lot of companies refer to this as the digital thread. And uh, one of the most interesting aspects of the uh, digitalization process is uh, 3D printing, for example, where we can go from part design and, and pretty much go to a print of the product. But uh, not every kind of company can get to that point today, so we have to think about traditional manufacturing processes that can be improved with digitalization. Small and medium-sized companies can participate equally as well as large companies. Large companies have taken that first step because uh, they were under a lot more cost pressure. But now we're seeing it, that the benefits can certainly move down into the small and medium-sized companies with, uh, with equally large benefits for them. Siemens' big advantage in this particular uh, evolution of the digitalization is that they have, uh, they're able to provide the complete value chain, looking from PLM through uh, machine design as well as product design, and so they're, they're able to provide the complete uh, portfolio of products that would really uh, be needed by uh, many companies that want to go toward digitalization. And then going even further, when you start to see what Siemens is doing with regard to their uh, analytics and the MindSphere platform, we're even talking about a much bigger uh, evolution going on here that where Siemens can fill many, many voids in the market. So.